You're here. Yeah. Yeah, I figured that since you decided to go to the office, I'd get a little work done around here. Okay. So, did you get done with everything you need to finish at Fusion? Yeah, some. Great. Anything interesting? Mm, just some paperwork. So, how are you? Just curious. Wondering if there's anything going on at the hospital I should know about. The hospital? Yeah. Since you went to visit Ryan. I told you I wouldn't lie to you anymore. <sighs> and yet you sneak out to see the one person who has always stood between us. So, did he offer to help you again, Greenlee? Did you take him up on it this time? Tell me something, Dave. How can someone so smart be so completely wrong? So, looks pretty good. You actually might be able to get out of here tomorrow. Great. What is that? Great. What, I don't. A couple of hours ago, you were begging me to leave tomorrow. No, I'm saying that look, you can. I'm saying that it's looking Madison, pretty good. Will you do me a favor, please? Will yeah. You, will you? Will you, will you uh, and just go see Emma and just give a little bit of update. Let her know how I'm doing. Of course. Would you? All right. Just, just because I don't want her to be scared, and, and it's better to do that face to face than before. Yeah. I'll tell her her daddy's coming home tomorrow. No. I mean, just let her, let her know that I'll see her soon, okay? Okay. All right. Okay. Okay. Mm-hmm. What? That face. What face? That face right there. I know that face. That's the face that happens right before crap hits the fan. That face. Greenlee was just here. I know. I saw her. She's upset because of you. That's good. That that's good. I can work with it. Really? What? I'm lost. I'm David has got something over her, and she's not talking. Yeah. So maybe, if she thinks I'm knocking on death's door, maybe she'll open up a little bit. All of a sudden, I think I feel a relapse coming on. This is Scott Chandler. Oh, hi. I wasn't expecting to hear from you today. No, 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 no. Nanotech project is our top priority. Let me hear those beautiful numbers. I don't give a damn about us. I'm just so pissed off at you and Scott for risking everything that we own. Please, like you haven't taken bigger chances. You're probably just mad that you didn't think of it first. It's like you said about Portland, it doesn't matter how the deal was made. The point is this nanotech thing could be worth billions of dollars. Only if we own it. And right now, Annie, legally we don't. I know, but nobody knows that but us. For now! Why can't you understand that? Okay. Okay. If you could just stop being paranoid for a second and stop worrying about, about who's going to find out about this, you could see the big picture. It's done. So you can either rub our noses in it and tell us what a terrible mistake we made, or we can work together and try to put a lid on this. If I lose this company... I know. I know how important this company is to you. It's like another member of the family. I know because it's part of my family now, too. But we can either choose to be at war with one another, or we can, we can stick together and fight for it. Listen, we could, we could have it all, JR. We could have Cortland. We could have Chandler. We could, we could have this nanotech invention, and it could bring bigger and better things for all of us. But we have to have a united front. We have to work as a team, please. Please. I can't do this without you.